parting the sea was just one of God's many Moses miracles. Let's see if Frank's team can discover any other miraculous events. What's this wooden bowl, Uncle Frank? It's a bread bowl, Alex, but it wasn't much use to the Hebrews as they traveled through the desert. But why not? Duh, you can't make bread without wheat, Jamie. Not unless it's the bread of heaven. Huh? That's what the Hebrews called the manna that fell to the ground each morning. Because God brought these sweet flakes every day, the people never went hungry. Wow. And get this, in all their years in the wilderness... Their clothes never wore out. Ah, the basics. Food, clothing, but what about shelter? (laughs) The Hebrews had thousands of tents. Not open tents like ties, but ones covered with sheepskins. Cool. Oh, it was cool at night. So God sent a pillar of fire to warm and watch over them. Then each day, God sent a cloud to shade and guide the Israelites through the desert. And each and every miracle was to convince the Hebrews that the Lord is the one and only God. The great I am. Oh, he is. He is the great I am. With manna each morning, a cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night, were Moses' problems all behind him? We'll find out this and more after this message. Have no idea what to feed the family when you're on the go? Just ask for Almighty Manna Mix. Manna Mix is a heavenly treat that is literally a godsend. You'll wake up each day to a fresh batch delivered by the Almighty Himself. Then use your Manna Mix to make manna muffins, manna pudding, manna tortillas, or sopapillas. Don't worry, there's always Manna Manana with Almighty Manna Mix. Well, our teams are working up an appetite, especially our hard-working handyman, Taekwondo. Here you go, Hildy. Two stone tablets and one golden calf. Or at least a little cow that's painted gold. (laughs) Sweet! Let me hold it. (laughs) Oh, not so fast. There's nothing sweet about an Egyptian idol. An idol? Mm -hmm. Uh, Here, here, Carmen. Uh, You have a cow. (laughs) Not me. The Ten Commandments say idol worship is a sin. Yeah, that's what I tell all the girls who want my autograph. (laughs) (laughs) But the Hebrews didn't know the Ten Commandments because the commandments hadn't been given. But did Moses ever need some laws to lay down? Those Hebrews could be wild men. (laughs) I guess you could say that God had taken the Hebrews out of Egypt, but hadn't taken Egypt out of the Hebrews. They had to do that themselves. And imagine how hard it would be for two million people to get along anywhere, much less traveling through the hot desert. So Moses appointed judges. Then God met Moses on Mount Sinai to give him laws for the judges to enforce. And that's when God spoke to Moses face to face. 